In this tutorial, you will learn how to use InDesign to make a front cover of your digital magazine. This is part five. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to add a border to our front cover. We'll also learn how to add a puff to our front cover. To add a border, open the Layers palette, add a new layer and call it Frame. You can add a new layer by clicking on this icon down the bottom here, or you can right click Add New Layer that way. On the Frame layer, make sure it's selected. Go to the Rectangle tool, draw a rectangle over the whole of the front cover from the top left corner to the bottom right corner. Make sure you're accurate. Open the Properties palette. Change the fill to no fill. Change the stroke to your appropriate frame color. I'm going to choose RGB red. Then we're going to change the weight of the stroke. So at the moment, it's just an outline of one point. I'm going to change mine up to 20. I'm quite happy with that. Push on W to preview it. If you wish to increase the weight of your stroke, increase the number of points. If you wish to decrease the weight of your stroke, decrease the number of points. We're now going to add a puff. A puff is an object on the cover that draws attention to something. We've already used one puff down here in black. We've used the plus sign. So I'm going back to the rectangle tool and I'm going to click and hold on it and select the ellipse tool. I want to draw a circle. So to ensure I've got a circle, I'm going to hold the shift key down. That constrains my ellipse to a perfect circle. Just going to reposition my circle about where I want it. If I hit W, it brings my out, outside frames back on again and I can make sure the circle's sitting just inside the frame. Use the arrow keys to move it over. I want to remove the stroke from the outside of the circle so I can go up to the control panel and use stroke up here and go none. I can change the fill color of the circle by clicking on any of my swatches. I'm going to keep mine paper or white. What I am going to do is change the opacity of the fill and just decrease it a little bit. So I'm still getting the same tonal range as the front cover. I'm going to add an effect to the circle. So making sure the object that you want to add the effect to is selected. Go to Object, Effects, Drop Shadow. This will open a dialog box up and you can see the shadow appeared. If I want to adjust the shadow, I just move this dial around. It's like the hand on a clock. I'll set it back to 135 where it was. You can also adjust the opacity of the drop shadow by clicking on the slider. I'm just going to reduce its opacity so it's a little less intense. There are other effects that you can also experiment with here and they've got a number of things that you can manipulate. Um, another thing I can manipulate is the distance that the shadow sits from my object. I want to reduce that distance so I'm just going to use the arrow down key and I'm going to set my distance at 4 pixels so it's just a very small line through there. I can change the size, I can change the spread and I can change the noise. Before you do any of these effects just make sure you've got preview ticked otherwise you won't see them. Once you're happy with your effect click OK. I now want to add some text onto my puff. To do that I'm going to go to the rectangular frame tool and I'm going to draw a rectangle over the top of my puff and my puff will say win a holiday to Iceland. So T for text. Once you've finished typing a text, select it, change the font to your desired font, change the font size, change how your text or your sentence is arranged. I'm going to select my text again and align it to the center. I'm going to select words or lines individually and resize them. I'm also going to make sure I have caps.
I've played around with this and I'm reasonably happy with how it looks, but I'd like to make a few adjustments. I feel like the letters in Iceland are a little close together. And I also think the word Iceland needs to stand out a bit more, but I do want it to be white. So to make those changes, hit on W so you can see all your frames again. I'm going to start by selecting the type tool, select the word Iceland, go over to stroke on its appearance and change the stroke to black. I'm just going to have a look at that and see how that looks. Back to T for type, highlight the word Iceland, and now I'm going to manipulate the tracking. By increasing the number, it increases the size of the gap between the characters. I also made an adjustment earlier. My text frame was a little too big. With the selection tool active, I double clicked on the white handle in the middle of the bottom, and it reduced the size of that. I'm keeping this frame active. I'm going to hold the shift key down and I'm also going to select the circle. Right click and group these two objects together. Now when I move them, they will stay together. Click anywhere in the background to deselect. Push W on the keyboard to preview your front cover. Don't forget to save.